But the further question is, is there any deterrence for the threat of incarceration to any potential users out there? Because there are, are a good number of people who are concerned that if you take away that threat, that are you encouraging that behavior? And I think that's a legitimate concern. And, and, and Mr. Chairman, we, we've disagreed on this at this point. There are people who do believe that, that if you set up a needle exchange program, you, you, you are more or less granting permission to youngsters to, to, to use that. I mean, there are people who and believe let, that. Yeah, I know. And there are people who believe that, but there's evidence and science to suggest in national studies, one after another, to suggest otherwise. Representative Lee, and you know, I'm going to disagree with you on that. Oh, well, I, and we've disagreed. Beliefs, on that for beliefs and years. intuition are one thing. This may be somewhat counterintuitive, and it was to me when I first started researching it. But, uh, but again, it, the research shows quite a different picture. But, but to, just to, to follow up on the point, if, if, if we're going to remove all threat or all deterrence to use, then are you not ostensibly making the, the, the use legal? And I think that would encourage you.